are thinking for moving to Kenya from any place, from anywhere in the world, these are the things you're supposed to be asking yourself. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? If this is your first time here, my name is Timmy. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're returning subscribers, thank you for watching my video again. So like I said, if you're thinking of moving to Kenya from anywhere, these are the things you're supposed to have in mind. So guys, let's check what we are supposed to have in mind maybe we are thinking for moving to kenya from any place from anywhere in the world these are the things you're supposed to be asking yourself how would i sustain myself and this includes feeding housing transportation internet just everything you need to know that is why i'm making this video for you guys so that you can really plan and sustain yourself living here in kenya when you land at the airport the first thing you will think about is how would i communicate with people and of course you'll be needing a network provider in kenya yeah there are three network provider um telcom Airtel, safaricom i would advise you to go for safaricom because safaricom is the largest network provider here in kenya and the reason why i ask you to go for um, net, um safaricom is because you will need it to transact money through mpesa so you can get the sim card in safaricom shop or even in the airport there and that is it guys you can call your loved ones so for our scene let me talk about nairobi because that's where i'm staying currently and there are a lot of places you can stay in nairobi it depends on your budget so on houses we have houses as low as 120 dollars which is 13,000 shillings and which includes a room a kitchen toilet and bedroom and if it's the best you can also get that as low as from seven to eight thousand shillings which is sixty five dollars to seventy dollars and that same best you you can also get it from twenty three dollars to twenty seven dollars in some places here in nairobi and if you're looking for two to three bedroom flats in some places such as uh, moisambu langata south b and um, kasarani so in this place it will cost you from anywhere from 200 dollars to 500 dollars monthly which is 20,000 shillings to 50,000 shillings and it can even cost you less and some of the high-end places in nairobi are kileleshwa labinson um westland current so in those places you can get two to three bedroom flats from six hundred dollars to one thousand dollars which is uh, sixty thousand kaya shillings to hundred thousand kaya shillings monthly or even more internet yes this is another thing you should be looking out for um, because you'll be needing it and this is another expenses so i'm going to be using myself as an example i use zuku um, 10 mbps which cost me two thousand five hundred kenya shillings monthly and that is twenty two dollars so it comes with free modem free installation and i don't finish using it before the end of the month you can also get from as low as one thousand shillings which is nine dollars it also depends on the network you want we have some houses that comes with internet in some high-end places but you are bound to pay more than other places so transportation there is matatsu there is uber there is boat there is boda boda so you can go for any one of your choice but matatsu is always lousy because of the music they play in it and it's affordable it costs from 20 shillings to 200 shillings which is 0 0.18 dollars to 1.82 dollars and it also depends on the place you're going to taxify and that also depends on the distance you cover and of course everyone knows uber and the last one is boda boda which we all know as a motorcycle a motorcycle that also is affordable and it depends on the distance you're going to which is um i think it costs from 50 shillings upward which is, is 0 0.45 dollars if you're coming to kenya or any country food is one of the important things you should have in mind if you are coming with your food it is fine but if you are not i am not in the position to tell you what to eat but i'm going to break it down for you guys and you might end up spending um 500 shillings to 1000 shillings in a day and that is 4.54 dollars 
to nine dollars also depends on what you eat okay i'm going to break it down for you first grocery in kenya is average it is expensive and it is not expensive it also depends on where you're getting it from okay you must buy five to ten tomatoes for 50 shillings to 100 shillings um then that is 0 0.45 dollars to 0 0.91 dollars and it also depends from where you're getting it from and vegetables also ranges from 50 shillings upward and which is 0 0.45 dollars and it also depends on the quantity you buy in and also where you're getting it from okay let me break it down for you guys so your breakfast might or will cost you um 150 shillings to 12 shillings and that is um 1.36 dollars to 1.82 dollars and that is if you're having bread tea and egg yeah so lunch time or dinner if you're having beef or chicken that will cost you 250 shillings to 500 shillings or pork. and that is 2.27 dollars to 4.54 dollars and it also depends on the quantity you want Rice is one of the important things you should have. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. so rice is one of the important things you should have in your house. And if you're having rice, it also ranges. Yeah, and it also depends on the type of rice you're buying um, or the quantity you're buying. But that will cost you 200 shillings to 500 shillings, which is $1.82 to $4.54, which if i am not mistaken yeah <laughs> and if you are eating from outside just know it will cost you from anything from 500 shillings which is 4.54 dollars upward i'm not going to tell you what to eat so it depends on what you're eating yeah and and let's say so at the end of the month that should be like 91 dollars upward yeah because I said it earlier, I'm not going to tell you what to eat but I'm just going to break it down for you guys so that you will know how to plan yeah and of course, we all will be needing gas so, and I refilled my 11.9 liters for 2,500 shillings which is $22 and the amount for gas also depends on the cylinder of your choice and the last one is electricity so i'm not going to be telling you any specific amounts for that that also depends on the units you use and um the home appliances you have but anything from 500 shillings upward or even less and i hope you guys have learned something that might help you if you're planning to live in kenya so if you have any question kindly leave it in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video what are you doing if you guys have learned one or two things from this video kindly share comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys